Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? Thank you guys for tuning in for the second of the three videos on our functional adrenal stress profile. Today we'll be going over our uh, noon and afternoon samples, what to do, when to take them, and just kind of reiterating some key points from our first video, okay? Again, I'm taking this from, from home, so if a little furry animal runs by, try to ignore that and focus on the important information at hand. Okay, so obviously, like I've done in our first video, things to avoid. Real quick, um, you know, make sure to the, hit the big ones. Fluids, only having water, and caffeine, guys. We can't, you know, we gotta stay away from that to have some accurate readings. Uh, if you're drinking any alcohol or smoking, uh, try to stay away from that too. I hope not, but uh, that's for another, whole other video. Okay, so we're taking two samples in this video. Obviously, I'm not taking them right now because that would throw off, obviously, the results of the test. But we're going to be taking, you're going to be taking two samples during your noon. Well, of the, we're going to be going over four, two of the four, excuse me two of the four samples. We've already gone over our morning, now we're gonna address the other two, which is our noon and our afternoon, which will only leave us our nighttime, which I'll go over briefly in our next video. So, at noon, obviously we're gonna take our sample at 12 to one, right in that time frame. Again, really important that we're hitting this time frame so we get the most accurate results possible. Next one, our afternoon is going to between be between that 4 and 5 p.m. time frame, okay? Making sure again, guys, that we're gonna produce four milliliters of saliva with no mucus, okay? It's okay to go over. I went over on my test tubes to make sure that there's ample uh, of my sample, obviously. Make sure again, I didn't really talk about this, but try to eat an either hour before uh, you take your sample, okay? You don't want to, you know, down a meal and then right when you have that meal, take your sample. Give yourself, you know, at least a half an hour to 45 minutes, but the uh, optimal decision would be to have a meal an hour before you take your sample, okay? And again, um, if you have, just to make sure that we're completely accurate on every possible step, Make sure we are looking at the exact time and you write down on your label there the exact time we take that sample so that we have most accurate reading as possible. And again, if we do miss that window, guys, it's not the end of the world. Just throw all the samples out, even your morning sample. Uh, throw out the afternoon, you missed the noon, and you got the morning in the, in the noon, throw them all out. Dr wash them out real good let them dry and start over, okay? It's not the end of the world. You rather have accurate, hitting the accurate time frames than miss that window of opportunity and get in a uh, faulty reading, okay? It's really important. Other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you and we'll discuss in our third video our nighttime sample and most importantly, how to pack and ship our tests so we can get to uh, whatever company you ordered from safely and uh, correctly, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, I look forward to talking to you on my third video. Have a great day.